All right, we should be going live. We are live. All right. Um, I was just seeing how much of a delay there was. I opened the mouse. So there's somebody watching already. Look at that one, one whole person. Three whole people. Well, that's what happens when we broadcast that we're going to be here. Hey, everybody, welcome. Hang on, I'm hearing myself, but I don't want to. All right, I shut down because otherwise I start getting reverbs and echoes. I'm just gonna deal with you in Zoom where it's live for me. Um, so first of all, um, somebody, uh, the, so what we're gonna cover today, hi, this is Harris, and uh, that or that or that is Ross. Um, oh yeah, it's up there. Not, nothing. Look at this guy. Iron balls up there. Um, they don't see that. Actually, I'm next to you in uh, oh, Facebook. But you're over here. Whatever. Are you uh, here? I think other side. Oh my gosh, that makes no. Now that's the opposite side of me. That's look. It kind of looks like it's in some sort of magical land. You see that <laughs> <laughs> little fuzzy land over there? It's Florida, everybody. Oh my arms in Florida. Um, so uh, we're gonna cover. We're gonna talk about. Um, I've had a couple of people, and one, one in particular that we'll talk about, yeah, this looks like I have huge shoulders or something, um, and boobs, unfortunately. Um, so uh, somebody was, uh, you know, I, I asked for, for responses, and, and, and somebody said they're, you know, hey, I, I'm, I, I don't know if you used the word scared, but um, I think you might have used the word scared to, to pull the trigger. Again, maybe you didn't use that word either, but essentially, you know, didn't, wasn't, was nervous to, to, to run the uh, $450 um, campaign, which is the minimum for the Forex investor training type of traffic, um, which is different than most of our clients, which is uh, it's a 250, I'm sorry, 200 uh, clicks minimums, usually around uh, probably 75 cents or less. So like 150, 135. When it's on sale, it's you know 120 something like that. So, um, but it's still the minimum amount that you can you can test with traffic for me. Um, there are other places in the world that you can test uh, for 50 bucks, 25 bucks, or something like that. But um, the trouble with a lot of that is, is then you you well we'll talk about that in a second. But you can't scale. You can't. It doesn't matter if you test something because that's it. You're done. It's you know. So that was kind of what we're going to talk about now is a bit getting out of that mentality um, of being like afraid to test traffic. But I, I guess it comes from a place that I um, a very fair place uh, because it's a it's a very buyer beware buyer beware marketplace. Uh, you know, email ads are very, um, you know, can be very sketchy. Um, you know, we, we try to run buffer between that at Traffic For Me and we do run the buffer between that. But, but if I told you that 100% of our traffic campaigns are, you know, problem free, that would be a lie because otherwise, it, 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 you know, uh, it's impossible because it, it, even, even if we have the most honest solo ad providers, which I would say we have the most honest solo ad providers, but this is a, this is a world of, of a lot of dishonest ones out there too. So, um, but even if you have the, 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 the ones with the, the purest intentions and the purest intention should be, I'm gonna send good quality traffic, which means people that are interested in the thing and real humans, all 100% opened an email and clicked on it. Sounds simple enough, but other people, some people shortcut that and say, you know, if I could just get a little program to send an email to, to make it look like a human clicked and opt in, then it's going to look like my traffic is good. No, it doesn't. It looks like your it, it looks like your traffic is good to somebody that doesn't know how to look at it, and that's why you've created this paranoia and fear in the marketplace. Um, so, um, you know, it's it's I think it's rightful paranoia. I think people should be. Uh, nervous uh, with solo ad traffic. Uh, I think people should be nervous if they go on Facebook themselves. I mean, shoot, I, when, when I first got started, um, <laughs> it's almost like, hey, uh, 
comment if this has ever happened to you. Like when, when I first started with uh, Google, I set it up right. And they spent a thousand dollars in two days and I didn't have a thousand dollars for them to freaking spend, you know? So I did the exact like, same thing. It was $400 for me, but still it was $400 that was gone in milliseconds. That's because I'm I more targeted. baller than you, Ross. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm more baller. I, I lost a thousand dollars in a day. <laughs> so yeah, for sure. But, but, but that's why, you know, now when you, when you, cre when you run, social media campaigns or Google campaigns, paid campaigns, um, you're very careful and you make sure that it's, that each campaign is only a five bucks a day or, or the whole campaign is only a hundred bucks or something, you know, 25 bucks a day, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like the, the minimum amount that, that you're willing to spend and, and you've got to be extra careful. And, and in fact, even in Facebook, you could say, oh, it's five bucks a day, but then inside of, what you thought was a campaign, there's actually five campaigns. What's five times five? Oh, that's 25 a day, you know? So I've, I've you know, you've got to, you got to a little bit, the whole space is a little scary because you could spend, you can, I'm going to use the word spend. You can spend a whole bunch more money than you intend. I, I would, now this is where I want to shift the conversation a bit to, well, what you're really doing is investing in data. You're investing in getting information. Now, obviously, um, you know, when you when you have a specific budget that you're trying to grow from and to, if you accidentally spend a hundred a day instead of ten a day, um, you know you're going to run out of your money quicker. You're going to feel burned. Um, same goes for for traffic from us. You know you, you you should start with a smaller, the smallest amount that you're comfortable with. The the real amount of money you should spend on any traffic source is dependent on what your main product price point is. So if you've got a thousand dollar product, you should probably be spending $2,000 to find out if the traffic's any good. Um, even a, a thousand is okay, but double that is better. But I'm sorry, I'm getting a little all over the place. My focus was pretty much on the mentality of I'm scared to buy traffic. Um, I wouldn't say you're really all over the place. Uh, I mean, you're, you're just talking about some of the risk that we take as business owners, when uh, you don't have control over the marketplace you're in, which most of us don't, um, you, you have to go in with an attitude of testing, but you also have to do it right. And that's the dangerous part. Um, you mentioned that I test very light, and I usually do, as light as I can. Um, and it's not just Facebook, YouTube, whatever. I, I play on as many networks as I can because the better I get at buying media on networks, the more valuable I become. So when my clients need something, um, in fact, we just uh, looked at a the very beginning of a, a campaign running on LinkedIn. And I did it at 25 bucks a day because it's super simple. That's fast enough to get data. And the data told me exactly what I need to do now to bring it in line because it is not where we want it. Right. However, getting, you, you have it's to- getting, It's getting clicks at a good rate. It's getting clicks yep. at a good rate but zero leads so far. So, so he's, I'm going to, I mean, I'm presuming that you're going to work on the targeting. You're, you, you know, absolutely. Uh, well, and I went very generic on purpose to see if generic would work because if generic works, that's probably your greatest win on a network. If you can go fairly generic and get the traffic you need in the conversion that you want, it's a huge win. However, um, I see some very easy ways to narrow it down, dial in the, the, who should be the good people for this offer. And uh, I'm excited about it. And it's funny because it was a, it's a loss. And the client's not unhappy either because this is part of the process. The client's unique. So not all clients are thrilled to have a loser. But uh, this client gets it. They understand that the data is almost well, as valuable as the lead. If, if we have a client that's upset over 80 bucks, yeah. 75 bucks, then we're, we're, we're doing a bad job finding clients. Um, Agreed. So... Um, Anyway, so yeah, the point, the point there is, is, is that the mentality of traffic is that when you're buying traffic, it's really there to test and test and test and find out information and, and make changes and then scale. Now, you should only do that with our traffic at Traffic For Me if you have a website that you know converts. 
if you don't know that it converts, then you're using the traffic to find out what's wrong with the website, which is fine, but just know that that's what you're doing. And well, then you have to go in with that attitude, no, yeah. knowing that you're probably going to lose. Of course, it's okay to have high hopes. You right. can want the sales, the leads, et cetera. But if you don't get them, it's a clear indication that something's wrong. And that's why you want to be testing. So, so listen, before I, before I shift over, I, wanna, I, wanna, I do want to talk specifically about that the $450 guy, because I think that there's some information there. I'm, and I'm hoping that it translates. Look, not, not everybody even that'll listen to this is, is a biz op or a make money online niche. Um, although I do think we're going to start seeing more and more of that as um, we're starting to hear some signs of layoffs and job losses and things like that. As, as that starts to happen more, you'll see more people coming in into that space. But this space is also a make money space. Um, but, but before I do that, one of the comments on our last live, thankfully for me, for my sake, was Harris, let's see a magic trick. So before I ask this next question, I'm going to write something on my hand and I'm not going to show anybody. Um, and then uh, let me think about this. Okay. My magical powers are wanting me to write this. I hope that looks correct. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. Now, is there anybody on this call? Is there anybody here? Yeah? Okay. So oh, um, I'm going to say, uh, everybody, pick a number from 1 to 20 and write. And I don't want it to be Ross to select number, basically. But I've, I've got something written on my hand. Pick a number from one to twenty, and um, Ross, uh, you can select either the first. And if you know, if there's only one person, then just. But it's 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 up to you to select it. I want them to think it's set up um, by you and me. You know. So as we're waiting for that to come in. Um, the so just so to be clear, he's asking you guys. Someone post a number one between one and twenty, please. Yeah, in the in the comments, and a little bit of delay. <clears throat> so, uh, what I was going to say about, uh, well, I'd probably have to keep concentrating on the magic trick now. Joseph, um, I need it in the comments, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Um, I have a number. Okay. Did did Joseph? Uh, did Joseph? He did. Uh, he chose a number between one and twenty. You want me to say it out okay. loud? As long as it's not seven, because because everybody's gonna select, everybody's gonna it's think it's not that that's seven. The, okay, great. Let, let's let's hear it. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So I have this box of cards here, um, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count to the fourteenth card here. Okay. I'm just gonna open it straight away. No, no. Uh, just straight. I didn't do it. I'm trying to keep this hand closed, so it's a little weird for me. Uh, oh yeah, and you flip it this way, you guys can see. I'm not going to shuffle at all. You can see that there's a whole bunch of different cards, right? I'm going to try to keep it not going into the. I don't want to send it to Florida by accident. Florida's over here. Okay, so we count. I'm just going to drop it down on the table. One, two, three. Oh, let me show you that they're all different. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this will be 14. And, and there's no way we could have set this up. I don't even know who Joseph is. So this card here, 14th card is the queen of spades. If you would have said 15, it would have been the five of clubs. Queen of spades, let's see, does it stick on my bald head? Look at that, it does. Not moving my hand at all. What did I write down? Queen of, queen of spades. Queen of spades, baby. All right. And just like that, that's the magic that can happen with traffic for me. Right now. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joseph. You so the, the point of what we've been, uh, yes, thank you, Harris. That was an awesome trick. I, I like that one. Um, the, the point of what we were trying to explain here and telling some of the stories that we told and talking about some of our experiences is that even at a high level where uh, my goal, our goal uh, as an agency is to deal with clients that are looking to get in the six figure range for their ad spend, you still have to start somewhere. And when we start, we start small. 
Because if I had fed $500 a day into LinkedIn, which was something the client had said was perfectly fine, they would have flushed that money just as quickly as the 25 bucks a day I started with. So um, what I needed was data. And I went with the smallest amount to get the data that I need. And that's the mentality that you should go into when you're looking to buy traffic. So when you come to traffic for me, we have minimum click packages that are a little higher than the basic solo egg guy. But that's because we've already gone through the process of validating these things for you. So, um, so we know, we know that the traffic is going to be the best quality solo ad traffic that's out there. Is solo ad traffic the best quality in the world? No, but other quality takes work. Solo ad traffic is the easiest traffic in the world. My, my queen of Spain is trying to get rid of it. Um, uh, it's the easiest traffic in the world and it is, it, it is what it is, which is uh, people that are on a lot of other people's lists. So they're getting bombarded right now with similar offers. So if your offer can stand out, then great. You're going to get a you know, you're going to likely get a 30 to 40% opt-in rate. And hopefully you're going to, you know, depending on how many clicks you bought, you should be getting some, and, and your price point and your stuff, you should get some sales. So I, I wanted to talk about the specific question that I had gotten with about Forex, um, which was a, it's a, it's 90 cents a click, not 60, 65, 70. Um, and uh, the minimum there is, is 500, which is 450 bucks. His price point though is, more than that like the the product that he's selling is is more than that but he's selling like a forex training the website uh and like day trading the website didn't mention crypto at all which makes me feel like the website is dated like if if you if you've got a even a so forex for people that don't know is a foreign exchange currency so there's something like i want to say two trillion dollars a day that's traded between the different currencies between us and euro between us and the british pound and there's people that can learn how when when it's down a little they buy when it's down and they sell high is that right yeah <laughs> make sure i got it in the right direction so it's all but it's always doing this and there and there's day traders that pick it here and they leverage their their money's leveraged so even though they're only risking uh, or a thousand dollars they're actually playing with ten thousand and um and then if it goes up a little fraction and they sell then now they made a hundred on their ten thousand but really it was a hundred on a thousand because that's all they were risking so um anyway you can't quite do that with crypto but my 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 which is part of my point which is you gotta you gotta how to make money with forex which is a which which is fine a little day now for nowadays, I told him, which I told him. And also, if you're going to do it, if you have to train on Forex, then say this market is 10 times bigger than crypto, which it is, you know, and, and, uh, you know, or this strategy works on crypto as well, which I don't, I don't know if, if it does, but, but you have to like address it. And, and part of the reason I say that is, um, you know, we have a, we have a list at traffic for me that's for investor training and, Crypto works on that. Forex works on that. Uh, binary probably works on that, but it's uh, we haven't seen that in a, in a while. Um, and even like you know how to make money with stock market and st stuff like that, you know, wor works on it. However, what's most exciting right now is is crypto, and um, uh, we have a that list is the probably one of the best lists in our arsenal, honestly. We have a we have a client that you know just last week bought four hundred fifty dollars and made three sales of his five thousand dollar product. Um, that is very rare. I mean, in fact, like that's that's so good that I can't even put that on a testimonial because nobody's going to believe it. Like that's the lit literally what happened was somebody spent four fifty and made fifteen thousand dollars. That's thirty x. Now. His next campaign, he didn't make a sale, but he got he got good phone leads, so he knows it's still good. He can see that it's still the good traffic. But every week now, he'll buy more and more and more. Um, obvious, I mean, who wouldn't? Um, and and that's the whole point is is you know he he did really great with his first test, and he knows that he hit a home, he hit a grand slam home run. Uh, for those people that know what baseball references are, um, I always think very internationally now. So whenever I say something like baseball related or u.s football related I'm, I'm always like 
is everybody following my stupid analogy? Um, so uh, yeah, so anyway, my, my, my point being, I know that list is great. So there's nothing to be afraid of on the traffic. Like I stand behind it incredibly, but I don't want you to waste your money on your current website. Um, and uh, maybe another iteration of it when you want to test 450 bucks to it, then yeah, but I think it's, I think it's you know, got low chances of success right now. It looked like you were either um, distracted or you were, were you reading comments about this? Did anybody have questions regarding what we're talking we're about? We're good, no questions, just okay. double checking uh, the things that we need to monitor while we're on this stuff. Okay. Uh, everything's fine. Okay, cool. Well, and um, my son came home at that moment as well. So I became discombobulated and was worried that I missed something. So I double checked everything. Okay, great. So um, uh, we, we didn't we didn't want these. I, I want to be able to commit to doing a Facebook Live every week. The bottom line is, is the, the takeaway from this is uh, so we're done. If someone throws a question in there at the last minute, I'll answer it related to what we're talking about, um, which apparently is in the shape of a ball. I guess I don't know why. Um, so uh, the, the point that we're trying to make is um, be cautious. Don't be afraid. Uh, uh, be, 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 be cautious and don't be afraid. And um, our, our team will put the best quality traffic we can on, on whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and, but, be, but be realistic. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna spend a hundred bucks and get 3000 back. Um, although, you know, that, that- You might, that, it's really I, unlikely. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, not with biz up traffic. Uh, I can I can I can tell you right now that I've never had anybody have a 30x return with make money online. That's just it's too um, it's there's too much competition. There, there's just there's too too the, the their attention is getting split too much for you to grab. I mean, unless you, you know if you do if you if you're offering something incredible, incredibly different, um, you know. But whatever, I, I would say what we really target in uh, in make money online is uh, break even. Or below? Why would I? Why would I? Why would I spend money on below, Harris? Well, first of all, we just told you uh, data. For, for, first of all, the, there's value in getting information on what's working and what's not. But secondly, you're building a list, and then with that list, you can you can follow up with them. Now, if 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 you have a if you have a product that's you know ten to fifty bucks, you should expect some sales for five hundred clicks. Um, Two hundred clicks, it, it starts to get the, the numbers start to get challenging to work, but you, sh you, you may still on the lower end, uh, the lower price points, you, you should still get some sales, but um, you know, you're not gonna get, you're likely not gonna get 100% return on your day one investment with that. You're, you're, most of our long-term people are super happy with, uh, people won't believe me, they're happy with 50% because they know, okay, th this was good quality traffic. It, it, it got some sales right away. Um, but more importantly, we got really affordable leads into our autoresponder and now we can follow up with them. And within two months, we're going to make all of our money back or three months, you know, one month to three months, one month is a super success. Three months is, is fine. I mean, any, anytime you can invest a thousand dollars and get a thousand back in three months and then, you know, everything else is a bonus. That's a huge win. Then you're, then beyond that you're, you're winning. So. Um, but that's kind of, you know, I don't know, that's, that's the point I guess I was trying to make about the mentality here. Do you, you have anything to add or? No, um, I wanted to touch on a little bit of the higher level ideas that I, I know a lot of our, our t for me customers don't necessarily see or um, think from that perspective. So when I can, I want to share that or, uh, you know, the idea that we're the only traffic they should ever use. That's silly, but uh, you know me, I'm a traffic guy, so um, no, yeah. I'm good. Well, uh, I'm, but, I'm but, happy but, with what we talked about. But we, about. Might be, we might be the only email traffic you should ever use. Um, I wouldn't argue that actually. Yeah. But uh, and I, and know, I say uh, might, I say might, but we sh we should be able to fulfill most people's uh, email solo ad needs without them using some of the other ones. Unless, again, most people feel like they're they have to graduate into T for me. Most people don't necessarily start with T for me. They they use. Uh, you know, um, there's marketplaces out there where you can, you know, test stuff for 25, 50 bucks. And that's fine. That's not what we are. Cause we've already, we've done the testing on these, on these lists. So, so we know, and, and these are people that really don't want a bunch of 50 click orders um, that they're, you know, having to deliver traffic to. So, um, but anyway, um, 
Uh, I'm, I'm this. I'm, I I don't mean to turn. I, I'm super. I hope you. I hope we come off as being super honest, super transparent. And T for me is. I'm not saying it's for everybody, but I am saying that you know if you're doing if you're buying solo ads, then eventually we we could be your only solo ad provider. But it'd be it it'd be crazy to think that we're your only traffic provider because that's I don't think that's safe. Long term. Agreed. All right. So we will be back next week, guys. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you and uh, feel free to check back in with the page. We have fun stuff we'll be posting over the next couple of days. That's right. Same time, same page. And watch this. I'm going to disappear. Not yet.